What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Foot Fox Men's Walking Shoes Fashion Lightweight Breathable Sneakers I picked up using Amazon Prime for $25.99. Out of 5 stars, these sneakers get 4 out of 5 out of 289 customer reviews. These sneakers do come in four different colorways. Black, which we have in front of us here today, all black, gray, and white, which we also have in front of us here today. These sneakers do range in between sizes six and 15. Today, we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions just to find out if these sneakers are any good at $25.99. They did catch my attention because they were actually pretty stylish and like I said, they only cost $25.99. Uh, if you actually just take a look here, you can pretty much see that they come in these plastic bags. Uh, Amazon does ship them in a poly bag that is much sturdier. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing and first impressions and be sure to stick around till the end of the video to find out what I think of how they feel on my foot. So like I said, we have them in two different colorways. They do come in two other colorways, gray and all black. Here we have them in black, which like I said, has a white sole. Uh, let's go ahead and do an unboxing of the first pair of sneakers here. As you can see, it's just a Ziploc bag here that you can easily get open. Uh, they do come a little bit mush in the box or in the bag, so to speak. So these were probably just thrown in the back of a truck and probably squished by a bigger box. But what the good news here is, is that once you pretty much put these on your feet, they should pretty much just conform to your foot and fit perfectly fine. They are an all mesh upper. Uh, they actually have a kind of contoured sole there, so they should be pretty supportive. And one thing I actually really kind of dig about these shoes is the design on the side of the sole here. I would actually even uh, compare this sole to a pair of Jordans. I feel like I've seen this design somewhere else before. Uh, I can already tell just by feeling them and looking at, at them that they're a little bit lesser of quality than say those Adidas. You know, the, I think these have great style points here and for $25, I don't think you can really go wrong. Uh, no one's going to know that these are, you know, an off-brand $25 pair of shoes. Uh, in order to properly review these, I think I am going to have to review them on foot because like I said, they just kind of came a little bit squished in the box. Uh, as you can see, you get this sort of plastic piece here to give it some character. Uh, it also gives it a sort of streamlined athletic look. I think they were advertising like a thousand breathable holes in this upper mesh material. So, uh, but without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the tread of the shoe here. Uh, just like the black pair, uh, it is, sort of contoured a little bit. Yeah, on the back of the shoe here, as you can see, you do get a nice pull tap here. And what I like, what gives this shoe such an athletic look, uh, why it caught my attention in the first place is, uh, just like on the Adidas Cap Tier X, the collar doesn't just go around the ankle, it actually goes up and around the ankle, which I think looks great. Uh, what also gives this shoe a distinct style is this uh, raised tongue but it's actually pretty padded around the collar here, uh, which should make it pretty comfortable. Uh, you do get a insole here that actually is removable. So uh, it's actually just a fabric material here. As you can see, no branding. Okay, so now that we've done the unboxing and the first impressions, I've pretty much compared the white to the black. Let's go ahead and see how they fit on foot. Now, one thing I wanna point out about this style of shoe is that because it does fit like a glove, uh, it might actually be just a little bit hard or difficult to get into uh, first go. But if you actually just pull up on the pull tab behind the shoe, uh, it actually comes up behind your foot pretty easily. Uh, these are a size 12, but they actually fit like an 11 and a half. Uh, the reason I know this is because uh, when I did try on an 11 and a half Adidas, those Cap Tier X from last week, my toes were just at the front of the shoe. They weren't too far behind, but they weren't sticking out the front of the shoes. 
they do give you about an extra half an inch of height there uh, just like your typical stylish youthful athletic shoe uh, because these are walking shoes we are supposed to demonstrate how they feel when walking uh, and what i can say is actually they're really comfortable and pretty supportive as well i would totally wear these to work stand in them for hours on end or maybe even come home and use them to go for a walk around in the neighborhood with uh, and i can sort of feel the mesh sort of uh, expanding and contracting as i am walking and that's a good sign you know you want them to fit comfortably as your foot expands and contracts as you walk around so uh, I think if you go for an all white pair or a black pair or the gray pair, because uh, I think if they did come in different colors, they might not look that good, but uh, what they did right was get the look of the shoe, the character lines of the shoe, so to speak, down. Okay, so now that I've showed you the black pair, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the all white pair here. Uh, like I said previously, I don't think these would look all that great if they were in different colors like say red or blue i've actually seen a pair of sneakers in this price range come in color blue and they just didn't look that great as you can tell just by looking at the silhouette of the shoe it actually looks the part right it looks like a really stylish modern casual sneaker uh, you really have to get up close and personal to pretty much see that it is an inexpensive, low cost shoe, but it is stylish. And actually, one thing that I will say is I think the white pair actually look better than the black pair. I think the black pair were kind of just a little bit dull. Uh, one thing that I actually wanna point out that is actually a little bit interesting here, and I think you'll notice this, is there's kind of a little bit of a pinching going on here in the mesh. Uh, as you can see, that is not visible on this right shoe, but it is visible on this left shoe. But what they do have are things that stand out that actually kind of disguise them. Uh, they do have a really interesting looking sole, which I think looks really cool actually. Kind of looks like a lunar surface or something like that. Uh, you can tell that they have this modern looking look just by the way the tongue is raised above your shin or toward your shin. And then at the back of the shoe, you can see the collar sort of raise up uh, at the ankle here instead of going just around the ankle. Uh, also, one thing that gives this shoe an interesting look is the front of the sole is actually kind of uh, thin, and then the back of the shoe actually is much thicker, uh, giving this sort of an interesting sort of downward disposition, uh, a forward looking disposition, if you will. Uh, one thing I did point out about this white pair that wasn't uh, present on the black pair was that little ridge, this little uh, pinching going on here at the front of the foot. That is definitely not supposed to be there. Uh, it didn't look good. It actually made the shoe uh, a little bit less comfortable actually because I, I could actually feel the front of the shoe sort of caved in a little bit. Uh, they were actually very comfortable. They did uh, expand and contract as I walked around in them. Uh, I think if you actually really wanted to dress these up a little bit, maybe just with a pair of jeans or something, you know, no one's gonna know the difference uh, between these and a $150 pair of sneakers. The only difference they're gonna notice is that these don't say Nike on them. Uh, definitely go with either the all white pair or the all black pair. I think the white sole with the black upper like i showed you earlier i think that is more of a casual look like wear it to the gym wear it walking around the neighborhood wear it to exercise in wear it to work uh these definitely are meant to be just dressed up uh the all white pair or the all black pair these shoes do get four out of five stars out of hundreds of customer reviews uh, because they picked them up on amazon that does make them a convenience good if you want to see more content like this Hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks again for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.